Hello and welcome to another lecture on electrical machines. Today we'll be starting our discussion on magnetic circuits. So if you recall from my previous lecture, we saw that if I have an iron core and I wrap turns of a wire around it and I pass a current through it, then this current causes a magnetic flux to flow through the iron core and the relationship for this flux phi we derived in our previous lecture is given as mu times n i a over l c. So you can click on the link to watch that video if you haven't seen that. Today we will be seeing how we can represent this relationship in terms of a magnetic circuit. A magnetic circuit. This magnetic circuit is quite analogous to electrical circuits which we have been looking at in quite some detail in my lecture series on electrical circuits. You can take a look at that lecture series if you are interested. So you know from circuit theory that if I apply a voltage V across a resistance R, then this causes a current I to flow through this circuit and the relationship between voltage and current is governed by the famous Ohm's law, which is V equals to IR. In an analogous way, we can also make a magnetic circuit like this. So in case of electrical circuits, it is the electromotive force EMF, which causes the current to flow through this electrical circuit. While in case of a magnetic circuit, it is the magnetomotive force, which causes a flux to flow through the circuit. So the equivalent magnetic circuit would be a magnetomotive force with strength given by Ni from this equation. I see that this is the magnetomotive force in series with a reluctance. So reluctance is given with a curly R. and a flux phi then flows through the circuit. And the unit of magnetomotive force is ampere turns. So just like electrical circuits where the polarity of the electromotive force is very important, here as well, the polarity of the magnetomotive force is quite important for solving magnetic circuits. And this polarity of the magnetomotive force F is given by the right hand rule. So if the right hand rule says that if you point your fingers in the direction of the current flow through the wire, then the thumb will point in the direction of the flux flow. So the flux flows out from that direction so assume here that my fingers curl from left to right, so like this, then my thumb will be pointing in this direction and this will give the direction where the flux will flow out. And thus the polarity, if I, if I want to replace this part with an equivalent magnetic circuit, then the polarity would be plus minus like this and this is the magnetomotive force. So in this circuit Ni and then a reluctance R with a flux that flows like this just like Ohm's law we can write the expression F is equal to 
flux times the reluctance or reluctance is given from the same expression so if flux is the equivalent of current and ni is the equivalent of voltage then whatever is here with ni would be equal to will be the equivalent of 1 over r and thus the reluctance can be written as lc over mu times a this is the expression of the reluctance of a magnetic circuit and this is the equivalent of ohm's law in magnetic circuits it is also worth mentioning here that magnetic circuits also follow the same rules like resistive circuits so we know that resistances in series are added similarly reluctances are also added in series so if r1 and r2 here are in series then we can simply add them on the other hand if r1 and r2 are in are parallel to each other then we simply take the reciprocal of the reluctances and then we add these there is also an analogy of 1 over r so 1 over r in electrical circuits is called the conductance or g in a similar way 1 over r is called the permeance so this is the permeance and this expression can also be written in terms of the permeance so flux is equal to permeance times the magnetomotive force so we will see that in some cases this equation is easier to solve compared to this equation so these are the basics of magnetic circuits and these will be very useful when we'll be analyzing electrical machines and transformers so this concludes our lecture on magnetic circuits so in the next lecture we'll see how non-linearities can affect this magnetic circuit equivalence so see you in the next lecture